Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolo Tech. And a couple of days ago, there was an Android 10 security update for June 2020. Now that pertained to Pixel devices as well as some Samsung devices if your manufacturer released them. But also, Google announced a Pixel feature drop for June as well. And so I wanted to cover all the new features in the feature drop, and it's on all supported Pixel devices from the Pixel 2, 2XL, 3, 3XL, 3A, 3A XL, 4, and 4XL. Not all of the devices are covered, but most of these features should be there. And so the first thing is adaptive battery. And so on my pixel four XL, all of the features should be here, but with this update, there is a new adaptive battery that you can't really see, but it's working in the background to give you more battery life than you had before. So for example, in the past with the previous updates, what it would do is limit background app activity so that it would extend your battery just like you would expect. Now there's an adaptive battery too on the Pixel 2 and newer that can predict when your battery will run out and then reduce what's going on in the background and slow everything down to keep your Pixel powered on longer, sort of like a low power mode. And so the actual prediction of how long your full charge would last should get more accurate and also you should get extended battery life. People that have this update have already been seeing extended battery life as well on their devices. So it seems to be working, although only time will tell. Now the next feature has to do with the clock and I only saw this late last night when I went to bed, I used the clock for my alarm. And if you go into clock, you'll now have bedtime in the bottom right hand corner and bedtime allows you to set a consistent bedtime for better sleep. And I left this unset up so I could show you how it works. So if we go to get started, we can set a regular wake up alarm and then we could do a sunrise alarm. So maybe you have the day off and you just want to wake up with the sunrise. You can do that just by checking this. You can select your sound select whether or not you want the phone to vibrate and also do a Google assistant routine when you wake up. So maybe you want to wake up and adjust different scenes on different lights and things like that. You can have it do that. So you've got all these really nice options that are built in. We'll just set it like this. We'll hit next and then set bedtime. I tend to stay up pretty late. So maybe we'll set it at 2 AM for me and it will remind me before I go to sleep as well to let me know that, Hey, you might want to think about going to sleep. Now we'll hit done. And now you have your schedule. You can see recent bedtime activity, listen to sleep sounds. So you could have ambient noise playing in the background or white noise, and then you can see your upcoming events as well. So you have all of these options built into the clock or and alarm as well to help you better schedule time. If you have to do that throughout the week. Now there's a new feature built in with recorder as far as the app is concerned. So if you're using the recorder app, so maybe you use the Google recorder app, you can now use Google assistant to trigger this app. So for example, let me show you how that works. Hey Google, start recording my meeting. It takes a second, it opens up and now it's recording speech. So maybe you want to take notes on a meeting, it will do that. Then you can take your transcript and save it to Google docs. So that's a really nice feature. It's built in. Now we'll hit pause and we'll hit save. And now we have the actual meeting notes and everything I've said here. So you can search through these. So it's really nice and it's just built in. Now it's something that seems like it should have been there before, but it's nice that they've added it. Now there's another thing as well with personal safety and personal safety is optional. You don't have to have this if you don't want it, but what personal safety allows you to do is a couple different things. For example, we had car crashes before on personal safety. So your pixel four or four XL could sense car crashes, but this will be coming to the pixel three line as well. Now it may not be available in all languages or certain countries as well. So just keep that in mind. But what it will do is if it's in your car with you, it will sense a crash and then call emergency services if you want them to. So that's really nice. And then you can set up emergency contacts and personal safety. And what you have now is safety check and safety check is really nice. You hit the button and say, maybe you want to take a walk late at night. You can set it for how long you want to walk. And if you haven't taken that walk and returned to the same place and confirmed that it will actually notify your emergency contacts and let you know you're not back where you should be. Now, again, this is completely optional. You don't have to do this, but you can see reason walking along 
walking alone, going for a run, taking transportation, hiking. So if you're concerned about your safety in a specific area, you can turn that on. And it's just a nice little feature. Again, you don't have to use that. You also have some options. So if we go into options, you can put your medical information, emergency contacts. You can see again, car crash detection. And then a new one is crisis alerts. So for example, you have crisis alerts to get notified about natural disasters and public emergencies affecting your area. So if you're concerned about that, of course, you want to turn that on. It'll just let you know if there's something you should be concerned about that you weren't aware of based on whether you're seeing news or maybe you just haven't checked online yet and you're busy doing something else. It will let you know, sort of like those emergency alerts you get from different things when you have different weather coming in, maybe tornadoes or something. This is in addition to that. Now there's some demos in here as well. So if you want to see exactly what they do, for example, emergency sharing, you can see that it says share your location in an emergency. You can have pixel check on your safety, get alerted about crisis, get consistent sleep. So this is showing all of the different things as well as get help calling emergency services after a car crash. And you've got a few other features as well. So those are the new things in the pixel feature drop. There's not a ton, but it's really nice to keep getting new features this far out from the release date. So we're probably seven or eight months at this point, depending on when you're watching this since the release of the pixel four and four XL. And I'll be doing a follow-up video on this device since I carry it with me every day anyway. Now, if you'd like to get your hands on this wallpaper, of course, I'll link it in the description as I always do. And if you haven't subscribed already though, please subscribe. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like as always. Thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.